Hey guys, Josh Dewitt here, and I'm excited to share part one of my opt-in creation walkthrough series. In this series, I'm going to create an opt-in page from scratch all the way to the finished product. I show you the whole process, which means you'll know how to create pages like this too. I recommend you sign up for Liz's email list below to get direct help via email, her free traffic guide, and exclusive weekly content. Also, if you're interested in ClickFunnels, you can sign up for a 14-day free trial with our affiliate link below. What I'm showing you guys in this series, people are paying experts thousands of dollars to create. In fact, when I finished this page for Chris, who you'll hear me mention throughout the series, he said you could seriously charge thousands for stuff like that. If you implement what I show you in this series, you could charge that too. Enjoy. Hey everyone, what's going on? Josh Stewart here. Um, so today I am, or actually for the next few days, I'm going to be recording an entire video series where I build out an entire funnel um, for my buddy Chris Walker who owns Superstar SEO. Um, when I was starting out with OMG, I did some SEO at first, and he was kind of like my main competitor. He also is an OMG, and he's just a phenomenal Google SEO, like just literally one of the best that I know. And he beat me for pretty much every keyword. Um, so if you want to check out his site, it's superstarseo.com. Um, but he built out this page and, and um, the site actually and ranked it for some pretty competitive keywords a while back. If I go to Google and I search how to um, lose FUPA after pregnancy, you can see right here there's a site and uh, it's ranked number one. And actually, it's ranked number one and number two. And uh, my buddy Chris, Chris Walker, who owns, like I said, Superstar SEO, he ranked um, these sites right here, number one, number two, and number seven, it looks like. Anyways, if I click it right here, click the first page, um, he's been having some trouble with conversion. He's trying to push affiliate offers to make some, <clears throat> to make some passive income, and uh, he's having some problems with conversion. And if I go through his funnel right here, um, or rather his site, you know, honestly, I can kind of see why. Uh, at the end of the day, it looks like his offer is presented in the form of banner ads on the side of his site. It looks like he's trying to make it very um, natural looking and as far as the um, offer is going. And uh, it looks like he's doing some content marketing, maybe putting out some content and then putting these banner ads on the side, which are the uh, affiliate offers. As you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, it's a, a clickbank.net um, link, so he would get some commissions from ClickBank. And my buddy says overall that he's trying to, or he's actually getting around 500 clicks per week or per year maybe, just honestly a ridiculous number of clicks to his site on a regular basis that should be converting but aren't. So um, what I'm doing for him today is I'm gonna help build out a funnel for him that should definitely increase um, conversion and uh, maybe build his email list, get some assets for him, and basically just turn this ranking um, page, these pages that are ranking, this whole site that's ranking, turn this into an ATM essentially. That's, that's the goal here. He, he's done the hard part, he's done the SEO, he's ranked the site, now it's time to actually get this um, making some money for him. So I'm going to go from blank page to full blown funnel and you're going to see the whole entire process. I'm like literally going to take you from a blank page knowing nothing about click funnels to advanced CSS potentially. Um, so you know we'll cover everything from just basic elements and click funnels like headlines and videos and you know take you to the complex upper level uh, view of a funnel itself pushing OTOs potentially um, and really pushing these offers rather than making them look like natural little banner ads on the side so what we'll do is we'll go to my buddy's click funnel site and we're gonna start with how to start a new funnel um, so you can obviously, if you wanted to, um, use some of these uh, funnels that are pre-made, 
but that would defeat the purpose of me taking you through the whole process of building one from scratch. So what we'll do is I'll walk you first and foremost through the process of actually making a new funnel. Once you log in and you go to the funnel section right here, which I just clicked on, um, you should come to add new right here, top right hand corner, add new. And the point of this funnel is probably going to be more to collect emails. And here's why I'm saying that even though we're trying to sell a product, we're not trying to sell the product on click funnels. We're trying to push affiliate offers. So in that case, it might be best to start off with a collect emails funnel, even though it's not really going to matter here. Um, but you really want to use a sell your product template when you're selling something through the ClickFunnels payment platform, right? You have an order form, a checkout page, all that kind of stuff. That's when you choose to sell your product funnel. Here, we're just going to collect emails and push affiliate offers. So I'm going to pick this right here. We're going to name this uh, perhaps uh, just the FUPA funnel. <laughs> the FUPA funnel. All right, we'll leave it ungrouped for now. If you need to, you can put some tags in here, um, but no tag neither really in this case. I mean, we, we could call it affiliate maybe. Hold on, how do you spell affiliate? A-F-F-I-L, affiliate offers. So we'll name it that, let me type it again, sorry. And you wanna hit enter to put that tag there. And what this tag does is it helps organize your funnels on your homepage. So if you have 10 funnels that fall underneath affiliate offers, you can then keep them organized and access them easier. So um, we've named the funnel, we have given it a tag, and now we can click build funnel. And just by the way, you can also add multiple tags if you want it to end up in multiple different sections on your page. But now we'll just click the screen button right here. It says build funnel. It's going to build us an email landing page and a thank you slash download page, just like this. Um, <clears throat> so what we'll do is we'll start with the opt-in page. And what I think we'll do is we're going to build this first page predicated on the content of page number one right here which is just the base domain how to lose fupa after pregnancy.com. So obviously before writing any kind of funnel, you want to look at the higher level structure of the funnel itself. And pretty much what I see is a page kind of like this, that's a bit more aesthetic, that's a bit more uh, geared towards actually getting conversions. You can see he's even getting social shares, but no sales. Um, I think this funnel will be very effective predicated on two things. One, pushing the offer, and two, collecting emails with a lead magnet that can then later be marketed to through email marketing. And you know, just browsing through this, what I'm seeing here is great content marketing. And that's why I think this page right here could actually be used as a lead magnet rather than just the content of the page. So what I think I'll do is start with a blank page and I have the idea in my head that we're going to make a funnel that pushes an offer and tries to collect emails. So we'll start, you know, obviously there's all these kinds of templates here. Um, there's lots of really great ones to choose from. You can even search the ClickFunnels Marketplace. You can search some templates right here. But for the purpose of this video series, we are going to start with the opt-in blank start just from literally zero to a hundred with this funnel. So we're going to select this template right here. Let it load and we'll create the page. All right. And I'm a big fan of using good naming convention. Honestly, if you put in the time in the beginning and you name things properly, um, and, and not just the name of the page, but the name of the elements and the sections and the columns, which we'll get into soon, um, it makes the whole funnel come together a lot nicer in my opinion. So the first thing we'll do here is we're going to name this individual page and this is currently called the opt-in page. But let's name it the same as this page here, how to lose FUPA after pregnancy. So I'm just going to uh, command C, I'm on a Mac right now, I'm um, if you're on a Windows control C. 
But to change the name of this funnel from opt-in, and this is something I don't see talks about a lot. This is uh, kind of neglected in the ClickFunnels community. How do you change these names to make them easier to understand? If you have 10 opt-ins, and they're all called opt-in, it's kind of hard to organize them. So to change this, you want to come over here to the Publishing tab. I'll click on Publishing. And right here, Funnel Step Name. This is where we change the name of the funnel itself. So I'm going to just Command V to paste this here. And I guess I'll like call this opt-in. Opt-in, like that. So this is the How to Lose FUPA After Pregnancy opt-in. So we're going to update this funnel step. All right. And uh, now I think it's pretty safe to say we can go right into the editor and just talk about each individual step um, in the ClickFunnels building process as it comes along. So I'm going to click Edit Page right here.